Hey, how are you? How are you? Good, good. It's like a beautiful day at the cottage. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's, It's kind of, it'll be really beautiful in a few days, but it's just all the yellows and oranges and stuff are really starting. It's, uh, it's been pretty glorious. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. And it's warm, well, kind of- which is good. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm heading up that way to uh, the Thousand Islands on the weekend, so I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's such a nice place to kind of refresh. And uh, I don't know, it's so inspirational, too. So, of course, taking tons of photos and yeah. to kind of like take us through the winter nights when we, are, when we need inspiration for our art. Your next series be uh, orange and red and yellow and... <laughs> yeah. A <laughs> little bit of it, I well, guess. Yeah, I love I love the oranges and the yellows. The reds I always chal- are challenged with, so I am trying to push myself to use reds. But I'm also working on uh, my forest collection, which is kind of more long and skinnier, but more graphic. So ah, I've only really nice. done those small. Yeah, but I want to work on a big one. But anyway, this is not about me. It's about you. Ah, so. <laughs> um, and you also are an abstract painter. Uh, well, am. actually, I suppose abstract multimedia, right? Yeah, really... Um multimedia I've done um, I haven't been painting forever so I would consider myself an emerging artist Um, I um, explore a lot of different things and um, generally I think that I'm very much influenced by my surroundings so I have um, uh, my day job uh, is commercial real estate and as you were mentioning uh, it came in handy uh, to uh, get a new space for uh, artist network um, at Les- yes, for Leslie sure. Grove Gallery. So that was awesome yeah. and very exciting. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah, very exciting for me to um, to be able to use my skills in that way. Um, so a, a lot of my work, um, I, I've done various series. Um, I do abstract. Um, a lot of my uh, work references cityscapes. Um, and I've also done a series of um, silhouettes of people that almost become peoplescapes. So I did a lot of that work um, prior to the uh, pandemic, and uh, it ended up being a lot of people very closely intertwined, which um, uh, we are very conscious of not doing these days. Yeah. Well, and, and certainly I think your work definitely, even your, your peoplescapes have definitely had that kind of urban, a little bit of a gritty feel. Like it's kind of, you know, you're right in the middle of kind of the urban environment and the elegance of the beauty of the repetition of lines. And like you were saying too, with the, uh, the silhouettes as well, how they kind of almost blend a little bit and become separate, even though they're kind of all connected. Like an, I, that's sort of how I see it, like in a very interesting yeah. way. Yeah, it's true. I use a lot of paint and sort of charcoal pencil that kind of thing so a lot of things that would be um uh you know sort of um consistent with um gritty cityscapes and that sort of thing um but i also did a fairly large study of people um when i was and i hate to it seems like forever ago but i was down in florida in december and um, and really studying people um, on the beach without technology, you know, looking at nature and really kind of noticing and looking a little bit deeper at things. So um, uh, that is what I did uh, pre-pandemic. So um, during the pandemic, um, and uh, and I I know we've talked about this before. But I got Mm -hmm. um, really entrenched in something completely different and didn't do any artwork throughout uh, most of the pandemic. Um, And I started to uh, really taught myself to sew much better and uh, made face masks and uh, really refined those. And um, so that was my kind of go-to night and day. And they're actually. Yeah. And I would. I just want. To, I just want to interrupt and kind of say. So, if people are looking for really amazing face masks that totally reflect your personality, uh, Carolyn's are really quite stunning. And I think you can get them at Blue Crow Gallery as well. But like, so absolutely, I have a series of ones in oranges and pinks and turquoises, and I don't know. I've had so many compliments on them because they're just so fun and they're they're just so me. Yeah, <laughs> it's great. Yeah. I love them, and they're super uh, safe and well constructed. Yeah, they they. I wanted to do the best mask I could. 
And, you know, that's probably not what kept me going because in many ways I felt like mine were um, through developing, you know, and uh, much better and safer. Um, I loved seeing kids um, choosing because I'll only make a few of each type, but seeing kids um, choosing their face masks to go back to school. And I had sets of twins and, you know, they would be so different. And I, <laughs> and they were excited to wear them. Um, and uh, I would say adults are excited to wear them too. So, um, so oh, yeah. I've, I've sort of put, um, dragged all my stuff back down to the basement uh, for now. And I've started to paint again. So I have something that's completely different um, that I'll be able to show you as well today. Oh, excellent. Yeah, I'd love to see that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. So again, um, influenced by my surroundings, um, you know, with the pandemic, we've kind of spent a lot of time inside, but we've spent an enormous amount of time outside. And um, I know you're influenced by nature, by sort of beautiful colors. Um, uh, I just see a question. Do you create the pattern on the face mask as well? I don't. I have um, uh, really just, um, I haven't taken my art and put it on the face mask, but I do select beautiful, beautiful fabrics. Um, yes. And so. And quite unique. Like, I think the thing I like about them too is it's not like you look, there's like, oh, there's 47 of the same color. Like, they're all different. So they're very, it's like picking out your own, choosing out your own individual piece of art. You can choose your own little piece of art you can wear on your face every day. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And it really makes you feel good and um, in this mm -hmm. strange world that we're in. But um, yeah. yeah, so I, I have, in the same way that I sort of jumped into making masks, I've gone back. Uh, to working in the studio. And um, I typically um, spend the weekends um, in there. And I just, the last few days, I have been relentlessly nonstop. So it's really exciting for me. Because uh, yeah. there's a whole lot of stuff that needs to come out that I've been suppressing. And um, but I it is wonderful, it. isn't it, when you, ha when you actually have the luxury of time for those ideas and thoughts to percolate for a bit. And then when they come out, they're almost like Athena. They come out fully formed, you know? Yeah. I, you know, last night I, I was in the studio and I, one of my favorite bands to listen to is uh, Steely Dan. And I had it just cranked up and I just, <laughs> I felt great. <laughs> so yeah. can you show us anything? Can you give us a sneak peek of some of the work you've got? Yes, I sure can. Um, okay, so, whoops. All right. So um, I'm just going to show you uh, the stuff that, some of the work that I have in uh, Art Walk Square Gallery. Um, so these are typically um, my cityscapes. So I use a lot of um, spray paint. Um, I've done some stencils and stamps. And I use a lot of collage as well. So here's another mm -hmm. one. This little guy is uh, just oh, that's lovely. Yeah. So and he's on your thought, he's on your store, right? Yes, absolutely. And that one um, is really gorgeous because it does have collage, and I've I've sort of sanded away and that kind of thing. So that's just a little gem. Yeah. Um, so uh, you see the back of my gate, but that's not part of it. Although it kind of looks interesting. <laughs> Um, this is another one. And, you know, it's just um, sort of people uh, looking at landscapes or looking at something that's happening in the world. And, you know, it's it's I look back at these things and it, it it's almost as though I would have created them um, uh, with the pandemic, um, you know, longing for oh, the crowds yeah. and. Um, that kind of but thing. But kind of separated. Yeah, it's very, very interesting. Separated and just sort of a sense. Um, and here's another one that's just, uh, you know, so I, I've sort of made a collage of these because um, they're all on the website. They're different sizes, different prices. And, um, and yeah, so that's the collage of those things. So I took the only painting I've done is I took a course with a 
an artist that I think is wonderful, um, Lori Mirabelli. And oh, so yeah, she's great. She's great. And um, one of the things that she does is a lot of overpainting and layers and scraping and mark making and that kind of thing. And so she's offered, um, uh, taken uh, different um, uh, parts of her course. And, um, but obviously, um, uh, being very conscious um, of using those techniques and doing something completely different. So yep. here is one of the oh, things that I've done. <laughs> that's so fun. So I'm influenced now by my garden. And, so and by happy colors. Happy colors and beautiful and abstract and, you know, sort of drippiness, but, but very, very happy. Um, here's another one. Whoops. I think things are falling down. <laughs> another one. And this one's kind of interesting. Uh, this is only 16 by 16. Um, but it has the influence of the, a lot of mark making. And on one side, it's actually taken away. So I'm trying to do abstract, um, with some realist realism um this one fell down hold on a second um trying to do these beautiful little vignettes here's a more abstract one sorry i'm sh in the shadows and this piece is just um 12 uh by 24 um uh, sorry i'm being a oh, very soft very different color palette very, very different color palette. But, you know, it's a lot of my favorite colors. Um, and this one's almost Mine like too. okay. Yes, I know they're yours too. I've got a couple <laughs> of little squares that I've done as well. And they're really pretty. And then I'm just going to put, sorry, strange, but something fell down. And so this one is oops, a work in progress. And so what I was finding as I was doing these things is that flowers were emerging and sizes of flowers. And so I've got to work towards getting them back to an abstract. But once I pull out some darker uh, shades, this is going to be a, uh, this is a work in progress, but it should be <laughs> quite spectacular. So you can, it's hard to kind of, Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, they're beautiful. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. That's really cool. So, so lots so that of kind of different. Uh, different Make sure you get stuff. to art walk in the square and pick up the, uh, the existing ones before they're gone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to post these um, today because they're very, very recent. And Oh, um, excellent. Get all that done. So, yeah. Okay. Well, so, Thank you so much. And how can people find you? Give us so your coordinates. So I'm at uh, Carolyn Laidley Arn or Art, either way, dot com. Um, I am on the online show. And um, yeah, I work um, out of my backyard studio that uh, um, is right here. And, um, and my daughter's an artist as well. She's uh, She's on the stores uh, uh, also. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate taking your time to chat with us. Well, thanks and, a lot, Kate. Uh, I we really will repost this. It. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, enjoy care. your experimentation. Yeah. Really, I feel really, really lucky, um, you know, in many ways. And I'm enjoying it immensely. Um, I think we're very privileged to be able to uh, use art as a way to help us get through um, a difficult time and to share joy with others. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So Excellent. great art on Art Walk on the Square. Um, it's open for what, another week? Yep. Yeah, I think it closes yeah. a week today, I think. Yeah. 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 So thanks so much, Kate. Have a great time. Do some art, but do some relaxing, too. You're in a beautiful setting. Oh, I totally will. It's hard not to relax out here. And you, too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you okay, so much. Take care. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.